Hey guys, Kurt from Time Machine Transport. <clears throat> so I'm uh, doing a, this is a Detroit 60 series. I am doing the uh, Jake uh, valve settings. So I'm not a mechanic. I don't pretend to be one, uh, but I have my whole motor ripped apart. Had to put a new head on. So I'm pretty sure this is right, but you're going to have to do your own due diligence and double check it. But the manual says this is a 795 model, 795. Uh, Jake, let me put, put the phone right there. And it tells you your last setting on there. Right there. It is, it's a 32, 32 or whatever on your feeler gauge. So, <clears throat> uh... I'm not really sure, so I know that when you rotate your motor, so I got my inch and 7 16 inch socket on that uh, whatever driver nut or whatever it's called on the front of the water pump. Um, so the, uh, the manual says your exhaust, which is on this side, your exhaust, now it's really, it's, it's hard to see, so I'm glad I had, I basically had everything ripped off this motor already, so... I'm glad I was able to do it on this side instead of the driver's side because I've already done it on the driver's side. <clears throat> but um, so they say that the exhaust side has to be in the closed position. So I figure if your number one and your number six pistons rotate together and your number five and your number two and your three and your four. So on valve overlap, <clears throat> so what I did is I already rotated the motor and I'm on number one right now. So my, um, my, uh, did I, yeah, I got a little bit of play in there and then my number six moves and my number one moves just a little bit. So, um, <clears throat> what you're going to need is a, the, the manual says, a 32, I believe. Sorry. Yeah, right there. That's what they tell you to use for your Jake brake setting. So you're going to need that. You're going to need a 9 16th inch open, rent, open end and a uh, 3 16th inch um, Allen wrench. And basically, so now I rotated the motor, so my number one and my number six, I'm going to go ahead and do the exhaust, the, the settings on it. Now, your feeler gauge, if you've never done this before, is going to go up right there. So, let me scram it. So you're going to go up right in that area. So, it's right underneath that. That's where you're going to be right there. So, I'm going to go ahead and put you on pause. And I'm going to do both sides, and then we'll see how it goes. All right, guys. I already did the right side. And basically, you say it's just a, it just drags on there just a, just a hair. So this is your adjusting screw up here, and then this is what they call the jam nut, your locking nut. So you just got to, they say it's a feel that they can't teach you. And you just have to, it's got to have just a slight drag. I, I do it back and forth several times, so it's a little loose, but I need both hands. But that's how you're going to do it. And if you can see down in there, right there. So I'm going to go ahead and put you on pause. All right, so double check. Once you do one side, then go ahead and double check the other side. I'm going to go ahead and do number six. <clears throat> and then uh, we'll, I'll show you how I look to see... Um, I mean, it, it's it's difficult, especially if you're not a mechanic like me, um, to exactly know where we're at. So I'm going to go ahead and do number six because that's the most difficult one back there. And then we'll uh, rotate the motor and we'll watch um, number two piston. All right, guys. So I got one and six done. Also, have yourself a grease pen or some way to mark each one when they're done so you know that they're 100%. But you're going to watch... Now watch the exhaust and then the intake right here. You're going to see the exhaust when this stops moving up and this one starts going down your intake. 
that means that your exhaust is in the closed position. And like I said, this is how I'm rotating my motor. Right there. You see that? If not, you'll have to go back in reverse and watch it. And then I got a little movement on two. And a little movement on five. So now that's pretty much how you do it. So, and then like I said, you'll have to. So one and six, five and two, and then three and four. And that's pretty much uh, how I interpreted it as you adjust your your uh, your exhaust brakes. So I, like I said, I'm not a mechanic, but after I put it all back together, <clears throat> I'm going to do a final video on uh, how everything uh, came out. So I'm really going to cross my fingers on this because I'm kind of at my wit's end with this right now. So anyways, I hope it was informative. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Ciao.